I warn you, Chen. You're going to regret it if you ever try anything. Don't think you're invincible. You'll crawl like a dog after your defeat. Just wait and see. <laughs> How ridiculous. Sounds to me like you really don't know what on earth you're saying. Are you sick and tired of living on this earth? <laughs> you're wasting your breath. The day has come for me to teach you a good lesson. Once and for all. Huh. Another idiot. I suggest you better leave now before it's too late. Mr. Y, I want to see you dead. Listen here, I'm giving you the final ultimatum. Haven't you heard all of my opponents either end up as cripples or end up in the gutter? Which end would you prefer, Buster? We shall see. The strong survives. The weak retreats. That is the law. Shaggy dog. I really hate his goddamn guts. Hmm. I really didn't expect that he would win. And it's incredible that that long hair of his could wield such power. We really must get rid of him. Hmm. I certainly agree. And the sooner, the better. That's right. It's always been well known in our circle that his hair can create great hurricanes. Mm, yeah, he's referred to as the king of martial art. Preposterous. He's nothing. Don't forget I am the dragon, the head of our clan. Right. His reputation doesn't match his skills. Now, Master Ma, I think it's time for you to step out and kill that son of a bitch. To protect my own honor, I must confront this scoundrel, Shaggy Dog. He's been taken far too seriously for far too long. I will show him who is king, and he had better watch his step. Master Ma, your skills are superior. But if you cut off his hair, then... <laughs> oh? That's right. Cut off his long hair, and he's powerless. 
Hmm. Chin Wai came from the West. He's molded his skills into that long hair of his. I must say, he has virtually no opponents. And also, he's a weird guy. He has no friends either. <laughs> But I know he has a girlfriend, an intimate friend too, and I believe they're very deeply involved. We can use her to our advantage. Now, according to my sources, that girl is pregnant with his child. Now that is intimate. <laughs> the girl is called Ah Ming. Chen Wai is peculiar, but he could not be nicer to her. my dear. <laughs> Who are you? I am Martin Paul. What do you want? Hmm. I realize that you're a good friend of Mr. Chin Wai, the famous shaggy fighter. And I've heard that. In fact, you're lovers. Is that right? That's nothing to do with you. Hmm. I want to tell you something very confidential about this man that you've been involved with. He's a villain, a real killer. Do you know how many people he has actually killed since he appeared here? All of those people, they came after him themselves. He's not a killer. You don't know him very well, then. He is obsessed with his own power. <laughs> and so he goes around proving it to everyone. The reason I'm here in person is to ask for your cooperation, to assist all of us to avenge the dead and to protect the weak. Cut his hair. Get rid of him. No, I can't. I can't do what you say. You'd better believe me, my dear. He is evil. I wouldn't have taken it upon myself to handle this case if I didn't follow my own clear conscience. No, I can't do it. Why, you're... you're asking me to kill him. You have no choice. You can kill me, but you can't force me to kill him. I just can't. Hmm. I had your mother kidnapped and taken to my villa. Her destiny is in my hands now. Uh -huh. This little vase here controls the fate of your mother's life.
<laughs> good, good, wonderful. Mr. Chen Wai's name can be erased permanently. <laughs> Mr. Ma, please, can I have my mother back now? Why, she's having such a wonderful time. <laughs> Twins. So my Tinpo has sent his lackeys. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Drink up. Uh, drink up. Here, here, here. <laughs> what do you think of my little celebration? <laughs> Congratulations, Master Ma. You've eliminated him for good. <laughs> <laughs> Master Ma, hmm? you've done the world a big favor. You really have. <laughs> come, come, let's make a toast to him. We wish you'll unite the martial arts world and be king forever. <laughs> Don't be self-congratulatory. Mm -hmm. Wan is not dead yet. Mm. Who are you? Don't ask who I am, but ask who has seen Chen Wai's body. Uh -huh. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? Huh? If you don't find him, and eliminate him for good, there'll be danger. For all of you! You saved my life. How can I thank you? Oh, please don't mention it. It was just luck. I just happened to be nearby. Uh, I won't forget it. I bid you farewell. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Finish your medicine before you leave here. I'm in a hurry. You've been hit with dangerous poison. You can't go far. You're most seriously infected. You may collapse and die. You must rest now. I thank you very much for your concern. Come on. You've saved my life already. I must go now. I will return. Goodbye. I've always told you to be restrained, my dear son. But you never took my advice seriously. You ignored it. My master. Hmm. You really should not have exposed yourself in the way that you did. And 
hand flaunting your skills egotistically. That only attracts envy in others. And you should know there is always someone who is out there much better than you. And they will come to challenge you to a duel, a duel to your death. Imagine all the disgusting killing just for name and fame. Your greatest power lay in your long, shaggy hair, and now you have lost all that power, and your life will be in great danger. May the Buddha give you patience and great courage to meditate. Your hair will grow back within seven years. In the meantime, you must clear your head of worldly connections. Build up your inner courage and confidence and cast away all unclean thoughts from your head. Remember, your spiritual purity is of the utmost importance, since that is where real power emanates from. You have forgotten this, and it is time to get on the true path again, my son. I speak the truth, so listen to me. I speak the truth. You must be very sure of your priorities in this matter. Forget about all your past glories. Forget about women and sex. Remember my advice to you now, my son. Remember, seven years are not too long. Your hair will grow back, and hence your power as well. What's the use of feeling sorry for yourself? It's too late to regret what you've done. You really broke his heart when he found out that you had done that to him. Do you understand? A woman's heart is filled with poison. How true you've proven that saying. You ruined that man without his hair. He's a cripple. And the whole world knows it now. I think what saddened him most was not losing his hair or his power, but that the one he loved could have so thoroughly betrayed him. You. Please stop it. I feel so bad now that I wish I could die. You should die. But I. What? I'm pregnant, and it's chin-wise. I am guilty. But the child is not. And after it's born... Then I will become a nun. And lead... a hard and cruel life. All in all, you still have some conscience left. Chen Wai's days are over, but his enemies are still after him. You mustn't tell others of his hiding place. Martin Po has mobilized all his men to go after him. For the child, and for Wai's sake, you take care. Make sure you take the medicine to him. But don't expose yourself. Give him some time to heal his pain. 
Parkin, please help me when the child is born. All right. I'll see you then. Take care. friend. Who are you? Just like you, after someone. What is he to you? I want to get rid of him right away. You want me to help you? That's correct. Shall we shake hands? You've got the wrong person. I'm his friend. A good friend. Ah! My medicine works only after five doses. In fact, it's very, very effective. Uh, really, madam, uh, this person must be quite seriously wounded. Oh, yes, it's quite serious. <laughs> madam, if he doesn't get any better, then try to double up the dosage and see if there's any further improvement, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
So that's why you've come to me for help. Listen, Hagen, I've thought about this. I've thought long and hard. Ridiculous. How can you expect Chin Wai to take care of the baby? Parkin, please help me just this once. I beg of you, for Wai and his son. I know I should take care of the baby by myself, but if Martin Paul finds out about the birth of the child, then he will kill him. He won't spare his life, and, and I'm so afraid. I feel so alone. You must help me, please. You must. I'm begging you. Please. You're the cause of all this. If it wasn't for you, why wouldn't have ended up like this? But I... Quiet. Now the child suffers, too. The child is young. If anything happened to him, no one would forgive you or give you sympathy. And Chen Wai, he'll hate you more. You're a very pathetic case. Oh, God, why? Why did all this have to happen to me? I don't deserve it. I didn't mean anything I did. And I'm so sorry now. I'm such a poor woman. I've had such a, such a hard life. It's terrible. <laughs> don't you think? It's a little late to moan and groan. You should beg for forgiveness from the Buddha. Ask the Buddha to show you mercy. You're sure you want to do this? Oh, well, I've decided this is the only way I can redeem myself from my past. You'll just be escaping. It'll do you no good. But I've lost the will to live. I feel so guilty. I've done so much harm to so many innocent people. Parkin, please help me. Please take the child. I know. You want me to take the child to him? Just let him bring up the child. But listen, he's just an infant. He needs you right now. But I... Listen to me. You must understand. Chen Wai's not in good shape now. Leave him alone. Besides... I know he hates me. But this child is his. The child will give him hope to face the coming years. I know I've wronged Chen Wai, and I should be punished. But this child doesn't deserve any punishment at all. Please help me. Please take the child to his father. What brings you here, my friend? I'm here on an errand. 
Hmm. Is that right? Ah Ming asked me to bring the child here to you. I've got nothing to do with it. Tell that woman not to bother me. But Ah Ming, she has... Ah Ming. I hate her guts. But she has repented. Can't you just forgive her? How could I forgive her? Ma used her mother as a hostage. I know she wronged you, but she really had no choice. She only cut your hair. She didn't have the heart to actually kill you. She... She bore your son, and Ah Ming. She went through great pain to bear it. And she bore it just for you. The baby, he's innocent. Take charge of it. Tell me, how is Ah Ming now? She feels bad for everything that she has done. She can't face you. She's going to leave this place forever. She has gone to the monastery to repent for her sins. I don't think you'll ever see her again. brought your son here, then you must be careful. Take care and cherish him. It is your duty. Listen to me, my son. It is your duty to raise this baby and to give him everything that is within your power. Go now, I will not keep you. Go, take the child and leave. You must be extra careful. You had too many enemies out there. Remember self-control. Protect the child and protect yourself. Yes. I bid you farewell, Master. Hmm. Look what I found. Oh. It's a little boy. Oh. He's quite hungry. Oh, isn't he sweet? You men don't know how to take care of babies. That's why I came to you immediately. I will have to impose on you a lot. 
I hope you don't mind. so nice really <laughs> I never thought he would have hidden in the temple. And now, he's taken his child to the widow of swordsman Chao Ping. We've already sent the southern man to go after him. He'll never expect a sudden ambush. I mean... be with you. Three years they've passed already. It's good to see you again, Parkin. Mm. Chen Wai, he's left the temple. He didn't leave a note for me. I've been looking for him everywhere. 
I still haven't found him. Do you have any idea where he might be? Yes. I heard that he's now staying with a woman. I understand. A man needs that kind of thing. I was around the town yesterday. There are posters up everywhere, seeking information on him. He's in great danger. Look. It's sad. His hair always caused him so much trouble. Pity the man. He has to take care of the child and himself. It's a great responsibility. I'll ask the Buddha to protect them. Oh, Buddha, protect the father and the son. Very good. I'm in. I'm here to see if you're okay. I'm very well. Thank you. And I'll continue my search for Chen Wai. Ah, mm. uh, uh, Parkin. Hmm? When you find the child, will you please give him this jade from me? Please. Goodbye. He should be coming this way very soon, huh? Mm. Hey! What? Mm. It's all right. You found him. Huh? Let's come over here. Damn him! That damn Chin Wai, he will not be able to escape me again! I swear to you all that he will die. I will do away with him, once and for all. His last hour is very close at hand. Send out all the assassins, quickly! Yes, sir! 
<laughs> Look, it's Moon. <laughs> What do you think yeah. of these? You like these? These oh, look really nice. Come on, why don't you take one of these? Yeah, yeah. good, good, good. good. Fresh pineapple, fresh pineapple. Watch your back, watch your back. Fresh fruit. <laughs> 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 For Chin Wai. Have you heard of Chao Ping? You knew my husband? I met your husband in a competition once. We were gathered together to prove our martial arts. Unfortunately, I never heard of. of him. He never returned after that. Oh. He was a real fighter and gentleman. That's a pity. That is a pity. But I've come to warn Chin Wai to be exceedingly careful now. Chin Wai? Why, is Chin Wai in danger now? Ma Tian Po wants to kill Chin Wai. He wants to be king. Chin Wai is his enemy. He'll never give up till he gets Wai. Why do men kill for the sake of envy and hate? You see, Ma has hired numerous assassins. They are mercenaries. They have no moral fiber. No leaders or any conscience. They kill for money. Therefore, they won't show mercy. They won't stop until they find why, and they will get rid of him. There is no question in my mind that they will kill him. Then you mean, according to you, they're determined to eliminate Chen Wai. They won't quit till they get him. But they are very skilled men, and they're cruel, and they are uncouth. Chin Wai won't stand a chance against them. You mean he's in danger? And he has a warrior's instinct. He will fight, even if it means his inevitable death. Well, then how can we prevent him from fighting? It's impossible. Men are driven by their egos, fighters as well. If wise pushed into a corner, he will do anything to protect his honor. Honor and pride are more important to a warrior than even life and death. Honor and pride blind human beings. They are dangerous. Your husband believed in vanity, and look where he ended up. I'm still baffled. <sighs> Vanity can be lethal. If one lacks self-control, one will attract many enemies. One should have patience above all. Mister, who are you? <sighs> I can't tell you right now. But, perhaps, another time. I see. But then how are you connected with Chin Wai? Are you... Huh? 
I don't believe that you're trying to seduce me. We're both single, aren't we? We both had separate rooms. We respected each other's privacy. Why today, then? Uh, Jin, why? Do you really dislike me? Don't you like me? You exaggerate, ma'am. I'm nothing but a ruffian. Insensitive to love. I avoid having relationships. But we are made of flesh and blood. I'm sure you must have urges, too. It's unhealthy to suppress one's impulses. I understand, ma'am. But then, I'm not worthy of your attention. I'm not honorable. And I have loads of enemies. I think I should leave. Immediately. Be gone from you. I no longer upset you. Let's go this way. <laughs> You should know why we're here. I don't know. You've got the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, you don't know where Chen Wai is? Or that little bastard son of his that you take care of? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then, my dear, you're in for an awful beating. How dare you? We dare. meet you down there, huh? Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Dad. Uh, the shaggy warrior Chen Wai has come out of retirement. You know, it's been seven years. Seven years? Oh, I heard he's growing back his hair. He'll be seeking revenge, I'm sure. Little party time again. <laughs> really? <laughs> if he has his original power, he won't have many opponents. Mm, that's right. That's right. Mm. Oh, no.
He has got his hair back, and thus his power also has returned. Although you are quite capable, I don't think you stand a chance. How dare you imply that I am not Chen Wai's match? I think there is a good possibility that you can defeat Chen Wai. What is it? Give me a tip. It's in your strategy. Make sure you have a lot of backing to exhaust him, so that he can't cope at all. Who are you, my friend? I'm Chen Wai's enemy. Seven years ago, he shamed me. So this is in your interest, is it not? My interest is in seeing Chen Wai's ultimate destruction. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, duel to the death, Dragon Valley. Come on. Are you really worried about me? Come on, child. You must be like your father. Daddy never sheds a tear. This battle is important to me. You must have faith and trust in Daddy. In case Daddy dies and loses, remember this, my son. Never seek any revenge. Let it be. You must always let it be. Hmm? something for you. Do you like this piece of jade? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is a present from your mother. Oh. shape. Who are you? We met several long years ago. You were into proving your reputation. And now you are back, which means starting another bloody war. My friend, you are too presumptuous. It is not I who is the aggressor. It is they. They challenge me. I'm a peaceful man, and I don't will death on anyone. Precisely. Ignore them. Leave it alone. Let it be. Don't give them a chance to start a war. Next time when I'm free, you can continue. Goodbye. Look at you. How can you win? If you act so nervous. Say that again? Your composure. You must be calm on the eve of this big battle. Your enemy is prepared. They have planned unique strategies to trap you. You must be prepared to confront them or else you will lose for sure. No doubt. Do you mean that I stand no chance? 
Not exactly. Just some friendly advice. Thank you, my friend. You spared my life seven years ago, so I'm here to help you. There's another thing I have to say. Tell me. Please tell me. You know the woman who helped you. She protected you till the end. She was killed after she wouldn't cooperate. I happened to be there to bury her. And so, after that, I started looking for you. I searched far and wide. My hope is that you will stop this chain of revenge. Too many innocent people are dying in the name of honor and pride. It has been a waste. You must cleanse your hands and put away your weapons. Frankly, I'm disappointed in you. You haven't changed your philosophy after all. Unfortunately, the monastery and your master can't reform. In your opinion, I should fade away from the scene and be regarded as nothing but a coward? Still concerned with fame? It's too late for that. I must face them. This will be the last. The last time my revenge dragging in. Do you understand? My dear friend, let me tell you my famous lines before you leave. Give it up to save yourself. Forget about honor, it's useless if it ends up destroying you. Goodbye.
I accept your challenges. Do you hear? Mr. Chen Wai, you are solely responsible for this rivalry, the bickering and killing in our Kung Fu circle. Listen, you killed 17 people, forced nine to kill themselves, and 13 others retired from the scene in shame. If I don't get rid of you today, then more will die in the onslaught. I repeat, I never challenged others. I couldn't be responsible for their aggression. This time you are the initiators. Mr. Chen Wai, you're vain and crude and insolent. So now, we're going to take care of you once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 